I am not a female, therefore I can't tell you 100% for sure what it feels like to be a female. I can imagine, of course. One of the things that really sucks about being a female, particularly if you are an attractive female, is having all these guys come up to you and they only care about getting in your pants. They don't care about the real you. It must feel so cheap when all they want is to get into your pants. I have an analogy for that, something I can experience. I don't want to rain on other people's parades, at least some of them. Namely, the parade of Barack Obama's victory. It was very important to a lot of people. It was a very emotional thing. Personally, I thought it was a very bad thing. But I don't want to rain on people's parade too much. If I don't have to. I don't want to go out of my way to rain on the parade. The problem arises when the parade is so loud, it keeps waking you up at night. Then it's hard to be so live and let live. I have an apprehension about traveling, and I soon will be traveling to Southern Africa. One of my concerns last time was fighting the negative reputation that Americans have. That's why it so boiled my blood to see how awful the Peace Corps members acted. I was thinking our reputation is bad enough and you people are reinforcing the stereotype to the max, I was trying to put on a good impression. During my two months there, it didn't happen a lot, but people did bring my nationality into it. One time I was on one of their minibuses and a couple of guys were talking to me and they, they said, you guys bombed Iraq. I didn't bomb Iraq. I'm not a member of the U.S. military. They were complaining about Bush. I didn't vote for Bush. Americans have a reputation for being very ignorant of other countries. But Americans aren't the only ones. What part of elections don't you understand? During elections, some people vote for one candidate, and some people vote for another candidate. Not everyone votes for the candidate, even though the candidate wins. That doesn't mean all 300 million people voted for the candidate. Of course, this is ridiculous to even state, but a lot of people think this, or act like they think this, so it's needed, unfortunately. Fortunately, a lot of people recognize that I wasn't the typical American from what they saw. And they knew I wasn't into people like George W. Bush. So it was pretty cool to be anti-America then. But now Barack Obama has won. So I really fear what's gonna happen when I go back. When I was there before, people were really hopeful he would win. They saw it as a great thing. This world is so fucking focused and obsessed on race, it's ridiculous. I don't bring race into the picture when I vote for candidates. I vote for the candidate I think has the best ideas, the best character, the best personality. Sometimes the candidate I choose is white, sometimes the candidate I choose is a minority. I voted for Roger Calario, a Latino man, in 2008. Now Barack Obama won. Everyone just about is excited over this. Except for conservatives, of course. 
and a few radicals like myself. So what's going to happen when I go over there? People are going to hear I'm American, you guys voted for Obama. I hear our reputation has improved dramatically because Barack Obama won. That was an undeserved improvement in our reputation. We didn't need that. America still sucks. I'm not saying everything about it sucks, but there are some bad things, especially in the international sphere. People are all excited over Barack Obama, but I see right through him. He's not a good person that I want in office. So now when I go there, what the hell is going to happen? People are going to come up all over me. You voted for Barack Obama. Instead of talking about things that I want to talk about, instead of talking about things that deal with the real true me, I'm going to have to contend with this Barack Obama madness. And he won a peace prize to top it off. So people are going to be so giddy. When people come to you and they talk about, not your, the real you, they talk about something and they insist on having their parade right over you. That's got to be what it feels like to be a woman and have people care about nothing besides getting into your pants.